this problem, I'll start by getting the equation to the standard form of y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus q of x times y is equal to zero. To do this, I'll divide all the terms by x. We'll get y double prime plus one over x times y prime is equal to zero. So we know p of x is going to be equal to one over x because it's the coefficient of y prime. We can now use the reduction of order formula. y2 is equal to y1 times the integral of e to the negative integral of p of x dx over y1 squared. y1 was given as ln x. So y2 will be equal to ln x times the integral of e to the negative power of 1 over x dx over ln x squared. The numerator will be e to the negative integral of 1 over x dx, which will become e to the negative ln x, which is equal to e to the ln of x to the negative 1. The e and the ln will cancel, but we'll be left with x to the negative 1 which is just 1 over x. I'll write then this equation, y2 will be equal to ln x times the integral of 1 over x times 1 over ln x squared. Now we can use u substitution to solve for this. u will be equal to ln x, so du is going to be equal to 1 over x dx. So y2 is going to be equal to ln x times the integral of 1 over u squared du should be ln x times negative 1 over u. So y2 is going to be equal to ln x times negative 1 over ln x. The ln x's will cancel. So y2 will be equal to negative 1. Because the final answer will be written in the form y equals c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2. It doesn't actually matter if this is positive or negative. So our final answer is just going to be 1. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.